So we're here at uh, Computex 2009 at the Marvel stand, and uh, here you're showing some cool, cool plug. Yes. So what is that? Well, we're actually showing our plug computing initiative. So right now we're demoing several different kinds of plugs. Um, we're showing Pogo Plug, and we're also showing our other partner, Centra, which is right here. This is the beta version of Centra's Pixar Plug, and it's a media sharing consumption device where people can share videos and files across the world using this. Across the world, so yeah. th those two are, are different companies? Yes, they are different companies. Um, this is a beta version, so basically the software can share files. So the software is open source for both of them? Or? Well, um, we have a development kit, which is a separate device. Yeah. Uh, we don't have it here right now, but it's $99. It's open hardware and software, and you can build value-added services on top. So this is pretty awesome. Here you have a uh, plug, each plug in the plug, and there you have it powers it, and then you have Ethernet and a USB host. Yes. So can you explain just a little bit what you would do with that? For okay. Example? So for the Pogo plug, you would take a direct attached storage, for example, plug it into this USB port. An Ethernet cable, PPE, and then plug it into a router, co-located next to your router, plug it into a wall, log into pogoplug.com, and then access all your files. Pogoplug.com, and what do you type in? The number of your device, or is there a number? Uh, there's a password. I give you a password. Yeah. You, know, you just log in as if you were logging into your own. So there, this username and password. So this is for Accentra. So this is yeah. for Hipster. It would be a, you would go into hipster.com, okay. and then you would put in your username and your password and access all your files from there. Pogoplug.com. This is Hipster. Uh, Hipster. So there it is. You have your files in the browser from all over the world. Yeah, so this is Hipster. We're accessing files from the plug to Hipster right here, to the laptop. You can also use uh, Hipster to access files, watch movies, and right. also uh, use it on the photo frame as well. Nice. Files from the Hipster plug. Yeah. So you just take your laptop and you can get access to all your movies. Or if you have a thousand DivX files on your terabyte hard drive, which are all legal files, exactly. you can just stream them. You stream the movie from the Pogo plug because it's actually a pretty fast processor you have in there. Right? Yes, it's a 1.2 gigahertz Shiva CPU processor. That is Marvel's uh, flagship CPU processor that we have inside the plug. Which is the same processor that you're using in these devices as well? Oh, well, they're all using the same system on chip. Perfectly. Yeah. This is the system on chip. This is the overall overarching platform. Yes. So the NAS system, Marvel, is already a master in that technology. And now you want to do an open plugging system. Yes. And it's just starting right now, right? Right. We're trying to build up this new little industry, a mid-sized industry, this ecosystem of partners and people just building value-added services for the home. So how do you add applications for the Pogo Plug, for example? Is well, it possible we have to add some Shiba, apps? We have a Shiba Plug development yeah. kit, so yeah. Linux developers can build yeah. value-added services on top. There's a deep yeah. board in that Shiba Plug development But if you kit. want to add some features, do you go to pogoplug.com as well, or highserve.com, or do you have to uh, somehow connect directly with the USB so stick? So the applications or? and features are going to be decided by the people who are going to add them. By the developers. Right. The developers. Yes. But then uh, basically you would perhaps just go to some kind of website and it would add some features to your Pogo plug or for the end user. The only thing they would have to do is just browse on the web somewhere. That's a good question. We should yeah. have a, a, a place for that, a home for all these applications where people yeah. can download things. So that is a very good question. Yeah. We do recognize that and yeah. hopefully we'll have something of that in the future. For example, uh, the Pogo plug could upload the uh, stuff to YouTube or download stuff from YouTube or upload. And it also does BitTorrent. You know what? We do recognize all that, and hopefully, yeah. you know, somebody's going to build that killer application that we're looking yeah. for. Cool. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. But just uh, one more question. Sure, sure. Because it does BitTorrent right now, right? Um, you know what? That's a really good question. Yeah. Should we ask? Yes. Should we ask him? Yes. Uh, does it do BitTorrent? Do you do BitTorrent on it? Uh, of course, it, that's the open source. You can pull in on maybe. Yeah. So bit, even BitTorrent email. Yeah. You can take care by your customer or any user. But it works today or not yet? Right maybe. now, this one and this one can be. This one it does, and this one not yet. Maybe yeah. not yet. But when it will work? Do you know how many downloads you can have at the same time? Do you know that yet or don't know yet? Because it's a processor. It depends how fast it is, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. Okay. okay. Well, thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you.